if you're planning to build a video editing PC in 2024, then this is the right video for you. We're going to be building a video editing PC with the top of the line specs, a really decent graphics card, and everything that you'll ever need, all for $2,000. And as always, here in Overseer PC, we're going to follow the same set criteria, which means all parts are brand new. There will be no used parts in this build, and all parts are available on Amazon at the time of recording. Okay, let's start with our processor. And for this one, we're going to pick an Intel CPU. The only reason behind this is that we're going to use Intel QuickSync, which means we need the integrated graphics card of the processor to help us with our edits. And what we've selected is the Core i7-14700K. This processor is pretty good. It comes with 20 cores, which is comprised of 8 performance cores and 12 efficient cores. The total trades, amount of trades is 28. That's 28 trades. Imagine what you can do with that one. 33 megabytes on our L3 cache, 28 megabytes on our L2 cache, and this one's pretty good. We've got 20 PCIe lanes on this processor alone, so that'll come really handy when we use that for any of our expansion slots. The only thing with this processor is it does tend to run a bit hot, but this is expected when you've got a 24 processor. This one's currently on sale at 7% off, bringing the price down to $374. And as a bonus, if you're into games, you also get Star Wars Outlaws with this purchase. So yeah, we'll take that. As mentioned, the 14700K does run a bit hot, especially if you've got the power limits unlocked. This will ramp up all the way up to 253 watts TDP. So we definitely need something that can cool this down. And what we've selected is the Thermal Ride Phantom Spirit 120 Evo. This one's an air cooler, right? So it's just an air cooler, but this one does a pretty good job. It has two 120 millimeters of fan and about two heat sinks as well. It comes with seven heat pipes to help with that cooling, which is amazing. It has that U-shaped nickel plated pure copper heat sinks, which is pretty good. Like look at the detail of this one. It's quite good. I like the design of this one as well. It has that lighting accents if you're into those aesthetics. The main thing why I've selected an air cooler is that I want reliability. I don't want to mess with all those AIO water pumps, especially if you're editing. This would only cost us $43. So $43, you got a decent air cooler which can cool our ice even and that's the job. Now to house our components, we will need a good motherboard. And what we've selected is the Gigabyte Z790 UDAC. Now we've selected this motherboard for a few reasons. The number one reason is that we need the Z790 chipset. The Z790 chipset will unlock all those PCIe lanes which we will need in case we need to expand and utilize everything. This motherboard comes with a whole lot of features. We've got a really good VRM setup, which is 16 plus one plus one twin hybrid faces digital power design. And we also have heat sinks on our VRM and heat sinks on our NVMe. We also have three M.2 slots. All of these ones are PCIe 4.0. Obviously, we've got a few PCIe 16 lane slots in there as well with the top one at PCIe 5.0. So if we will have cards which are 5.0 down the track, we'll be able to utilize that in our setup. Obviously, we got four DIMM slots in here and the usual, we've got the RGB connectors in here as well. We also have Gigabyte's PCIe Easy Latch. I like this feature because it makes removing a graphics card really easy. And on top of that, this motherboard also comes with some Wi-Fi. So yeah, we got a few USB ports on the back here with one Type-C. This board comes back with a whole lot of features and it will only cost us $160. So if you're watching this video right now, there's only a few left. So put this in your card before it runs out. Moving on to system memory, we will have a DDR5, which is what we're selected for a system. And we will need as much capacity as we can because we were doing a lot of editing. So what we've selected is the Team Group Peak Rate Expert Overclocking, which is a 64 gigabyte kit that's two 32 gigabytes at 6,000 megahertz. You have an XMP profile available to you. But in our case, if you're just doing basic video editing, you're not gaming 
gaming or anything like that you could probably just leave the xn people file turn off for you guys out there who are also gamers you may want to try enabling the xmp profile and the bios it's not the fastest ram and it doesn't have the best timings as well but it will still get you through your gaming experience and the best part is this one's only about 185 dollars in terms of storage we will need a few nvme drives here so the first nvme drive will be our windows or our system drive and we'll use the lexar one terabyte nm 800 pro nvme on this one this one's can go up to 7500 read speeds and 6300 write speeds it also comes with five years limited warranty endurance is 1000 terabyte written so that's quite good and like i said we need the fastest speeds on our windows or operating system so that we will be really smooth during our editing process for our second drive we have selected the silicon power four terabyte us 75 this drive comes with up to 7000 read speeds and 6500 megabytes per second write speeds the reason why we've selected a bigger capacity drive for our second drive is that we're going to use this as our cache drive and our working drive which means we will put our video files in here while we're editing our video and at the same time we're going to use a portion of this one as our cache you can set that one up in your premiere because we've got that capacity obviously later down the track when you have extra money we can add another one of these as our backup or where you can store your extra footage or extra archiving i like this drive it's only 225 dollars for four terabytes so that's actually not bad we've got 2400 terabytes written for our insurance and that's pretty amazing five years limited warranty you can't say no to this drive this is amazing just get this one right and before we proceed if you guys are planning to build a pc over the next few months or uncertain on which parts to get we do these build guides every month on different price points so hit that subscribe button if you want to be up to speed with everything on all the components and the pc pass compatibility all that stuff we do all the research for you so you will save a lot of time from googling anyway let's go back to and for our graphics card we've selected the tny geforce rtx 4070 ti super this is a 16 gigabyte card the reason why we picked an nvidia card as you probably know besides their encoders and their software suite and features is that the rtx 4070 ti super comes with dual encoders dual encoders will help our production and the speed of editing so we couldn't say no to that one right and the best part about the rtx 4070 ti super is the 16 gigabyte of vram obviously we can go a bit higher but we're a bit limited with our budget hence why we've stuck with the 4070 ti super and it's decently priced too it's currently at seven percent off bringing the price down to 769 dollars so yeah that's quite good now it comes with that black thing really simple really minimalist but it's good in terms of CUDA cores, it comes with 8,448 CUDA cores, so that's pretty good. TDP is 285 watts, so it's a bit hot card, but we've got 256 bit for its memory interface, and the memory speed is at 21 gigabytes per second. So, and if you're a gamer as well, your gaming experience will be really great with this card. So, this is definitely the best bank for the buck card for video editing and at the same time for gaming. Now, the standard specs of the PNY RTX 4070 Ti Super requires a 700 watts power supply however in our build we're going to push that a little bit more to 850 watts so that we will have some headroom when we expand our drives later on or even change to a better graphics card or processor so we'll have that extra headroom and what we've selected for our power supply is the be quiet pure power 12 and 850 watts power supply i really like this power supply because it comes with an 80 plus gold efficiency it comes with a standard black flat cables and the best part this one comes with us dedicated pcie 5.0 connector to our graphics cards we won't need those adapters for a 6 plus 2 power connectors we'll just have a direct link from our power supply all the way up to the graphics card and another thing i like about this power supply is that this comes with 10 years warranty 
And to house all our components, we've selected the Montec Air 1000 Premium Black Case. This is a typical mesh case, but comes with four ARGB fans installed for free. We've got one 120 millimeters fan at the back, but three 140 millimeters in the front. So this is quite good. And it comes with a swivel glass side panel as well for the ease of opening our case. Now, the case is pretty standard. It can house up to 340 millimeters in our GPU link, which would fit our PNY RTX 4070 Ti Super. This is one thing we're in. We're trying to cut down our cost here so we can fit our $2,000 budget. We'll still have really decent specs. So yeah, it's only $70. We'll do the job. This is fine. Overall, we've got a pretty decent video editing rig right here. We've got the Core i7 14700K for our processor. This is cooled by our Thermalite Phantom Spirit 1.3 Evo. We've got the Z790 motherboard from Gigabyte. 64 gigabytes of system memory, DDR5, but one terabyte for our operating system and another four terabyte for our cache and working drive. For graphics card, we got an RTX 4070 Ti Super. We got 850 watts power supply, a really decent and a good value Montec case. This totals to $2,001.78. Really good value and you got that free Star Wars game as well. All of the product links are in the description and if you guys have any questions or queries just go to help.overseerpc.com give me as much information as you can and i'll try my best to answer your query or you can just go down to the comments and write something in there the only thing is youtube might not tag me for any new comments or queries so i might be a bit late on that one so yeah this is good this is our video editing pc i hope you like this one and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one